this problem is the fifth and the uh, last problem of the set and uh, this is of the year 2006 these are two marks it's on uh, registers rather it is uh, a miscellaneous kind of problem which has registers uh, adders and flip flop circuits put together okay so we'll read out the problem for the circuit shown in the figure below two four bit parallel serial out shift register parallel in serial out shift registers loaded with the data shown are used to feed the data to full adder initially all the uh, flip flops are in the clear state and after applying two clock pulses the output for the full adder should be there are four options here that uh, what are the outputs uh, output of the full adder of two clock pulses okay so uh, if we uh, look at this circuit if we look at the circuit uh, we'll just uh, shift it up uh, to see the complete circuit uh, uh, this is the complete circuit uh, and this consists of two four bit shift registers and these shift registers are of parallel in serial out type of shift register that means data can be uh, fed to the registers in parallel but it could be taken out serially bit by bit from these registers and they are loaded with the data okay and then we have uh, flip flops this is a d flip flop there are three d flip flops two are connected to a and b inputs of the full adder and the third flip flop is connected to the uh connected to the uh carry in to get me the output okay and then this is a full adder circuit so we have to see that uh, uh, uh we have to see that uh, uh that uh, what happens after the two clock pulses here the clock is uh, after two clocks uh, what would be the output data of uh, sum and the carry in these flip flops okay uh, so as we assume here that uh, all flip flops are in the clear state that means they are having zero output here that means uh, these flip flops this is a q is zero these outputs are zero here for these flip flops okay now when the first pulse uh, is applied uh, the shift register will uh, transfer the least significant bit lsb here this lsb so this one will be transferred here this one will be transferred here <coughs> and <coughs> and this clock pulse uh would uh, transfer the data this d to the q output here so uh if you uh, we see the corresponding truth table uh, we can observe here uh i take an uh, three inputs here a b c i carry in and sum and carry out so after first clock clock 1 uh, first uh, uh clock pulse a is 1 because this data is 1 so this gets transferred here to so a is 1 b is 1 c i carry in c is that is input carry is 0 because there is no data fed in here so carry in is 0 and the sum would be then 1 plus 1 would be 0 with carry so sum would be 0 with a carry 1 this would be after the first clock pulse when the second clock pulse applied uh after the second clock pulse uh, what happens is uh next bit of registers these registers is again next bit is 1 1 that will get transferred into the uh, a and b input of the full adder and uh, so a is 1 b is 1 but next input uh because uh, this uh, 
uh, output here C naught was one here. This output was one, so that get transferred from the uh, next clock, it would be one. So C I would be one. So this is A is one, B is one, and C I is one. So if you take the sum A plus B, one plus one is zero with carry one. So it will be one and with carry one. So this will be the output. That means the output will have uh, sum to be one and carry also carry out also to be one. So this is the corresponding output. So the correct option here is option D. The option D is the correct correct option uh, which has uh, sum as uh, one. This has sum as one and uh, carry is carry out is also one. So this is the right option for this. Although this problem uh, uh, involves uh, uh, like uh, flip flops, uh, shift registers, and uh, adder circuit, but it's a very simple problem. Although circuit involved seems uh, to be quite complex, but if you understand the operation of uh, each uh, circuit, you should be able to analyze it very fast. Such circuits uh, which have a uh, good number of uh, different components normally are very uh, simple problems. Uh, uh, there may be uh, maybe other problems. Uh, uh, we have tried to take up the illustrative problems, uh, which could uh, uh, help you to uh, get an idea about different uh, subtopics here. But you can uh, uh, solve the other problems also with a good understanding of the subject. Okay. Best of luck. Uh,